Welcome to Skinny TV on YouTube once again. Let's see the latest update coming in from the camp of Blackstar's team, Blackstar's players, Euro 2024, and some other latest updates we need to know on this channel. Alexander Kwabinajiku, he is the defender for Fenerbahce and Blackstar's right now. One club in Italy is interested in the player, and we will talk about him in this update. Mohamed Kudus to IT Heart, while well, the story is still developing today, I'm getting some few updates coming in from England, and I'll speak about it, which could be a piece of good news for some people, because some are saying that Kudus shouldn't join IT Heart. He shouldn't just follow the money, because some years to come, the money will follow Kudus. Well, we'll talk about it together with the latest transfer updates from his side. we we'll also look at Euro 2024, because a lot of things are going on. I'm here to actually bring you updates from that. I told you that I'll be doing it intermittently. Today, we had some tough matches. Right after watching Italy Spain, that is when I'm making this video. And I know you enjoyed the game, especially Nico Williams. My oh my, the boy is so much fantastic. And I really enjoyed him. We'll talk about him. Kobe Boatimenu, today he was on the bench for England. I know most Ghanaians don't want us to talk about this boy. But we also look a little into that. Together with some other latest updates. Gideon Mensah speaking about Otto Addo and some more updates. You know the video will be packed, but we make it very snappy and detailed as we do always. Before then, if you have joined us, take your time and like the video. Anytime you join us, please take your time and like the video for me. It's very necessary. After liking, if you are new, subscribe to the channel. Put us on post notifications so that anytime I drop a latest update, you'll be the first person to get and also enjoy. Leave a thought and comment in the comment box. I also do my best to give more shout outs in this video. So stick and stay for that. After watching the video, please share the link to one platform. You know, on Facebook, WhatsApp, anywhere. Please do walk and share the link for others to also come here and enjoy the latest. No time to waste. You know how we do it. Quickly, let's begin from here. Alexander Kwabnajiku, he is a center back for Fenerbahce and Ghana Black Stars. And this guy has been really fantastic. Um, you know, we've spoken about him a lot of occasions. Now, he moved from Strasbourg to join Fenerbahce ahead of last season. And his performance for them was superb. He helped them to actually play second in the league. And... In fact, that league has to go to the last game of the season before Galatasaray will win it, um, you know, from the hands of um, Fenerbahce. And it was a good one for them. This time around, they brought in Jose Moreno to come and coach the club. But Lazio, in Italian Serie A, they've now shot up that they want to sign Black Stars centre-back and also Fenerbahce centre-back. That is Alexander Jiku. They want to make him a priority in the Italian Serie A side. So, yes, Lazio, they are preparing an amount of 10 million euros for Fenerbahce's, um, that is Alexander Jiku, to entice the player for him to move on from Fenerbahce to come and play for Lazio in the Italian Serie A. Do you think that it is going to help him for him to move from, um, you know, talking of Fenerbahce to come and join them in the Italian Serie A? And I don't even think that Jose Moreno will let him go because Moreno getting a player like Alexander Jiku, fantastic centre back. I think he's going to hold on him. But let's wait and see whether, um, you know, the player will move to join them in the Italian Serie A or not. So, for now, Lazio, they are interested in him, and that is the quick update for you. Gideon Mensah has also spoken about Black Stars coach Otto Addo. According to him, Otto Addo is one of the best coaches he's actually played under in the Black Stars team, and that is a good one coming in from the player. Quickly, this is what the player has to say when he was asked about Otto Addo, how he sees the Black Stars coach going forward and everything that he's done in the Black Stars team. These were the words from Gideon Mensah. For me, I think he's one of the best that I've worked with in the national team in terms of the tactics and then how he wants the team to play. Obviously, he's always um, played in the national team before, so he knows what Ghanaians expect and then what the team also wants. But I think coming back again shows that he sat down and thought about what was not right and what was good and then what to do next and what to improve on. That is what Mensa actually said in an interview. And that is it also for the player. So this was quoted by Ghana Sokanet. And I'm also sharing with you on this channel. According to him, yes, Otwado, he is the best or one of the best that he's worked with in the Black Stars team. For him to go and come again tells you that yes, he sat down to actually look at the good and the bad sides of everything. And now he knows how to play his cards very well. For now, his return has been good for Ghana because for the two competitive games that we played, we found back to back, and that is a good one for Coach Otto Addo and the Ghana Black Stars going forward. So, Gideon Mensa, he has spoken about him, and that is that. Let's talk about Mohamed Kudus. Why is Kudus joining? Right now, a lot of people are advising him online. I don't know whether Kudus is actually reading all our comments. 
hopefully he will read because the players they do follow all those stuff you know kudos to it had actually came up about three days ago that is when um the club has actually made it clear that they want to sign kudos and pay him um a little over three hundred thousand dollars a week and kudos at west ham he's taking close to hundred thousand a week so it tells you that it's a time strain plus cars promises plus house that they are going to give to him a whole lot of stuff if he joined the saudi arabian side now people are advising kudos that for now he's young he should stay at west ham continue to play and if he builds himself very well the money will chase him just like the likes of ronaldo's the likes of salah if salah wants to move to saudi arabian club right now they, will, they are going to pay him more than what they want to pay kudus right now so if kudus improves himself he's going to earn more than that and i kind of buy that idea others are also saying that see opportunity comes but once this is the time kudus should go and take the money some are saying he should go there for two years and come back to Europe. But if you're coming back to Europe, do you think a lot of the big clubs will still be interested in you? If you go there, it's going to be just like that, you know. But it is, go it is down to the player, his management, and what they think is going to be best for him. But today, per the latest updates we are getting, according to um, Grim Bailey, yes, he actually works with TBR Football and some other transfer experts in England. Today, he has revealed that West Ham United have no intention in selling Mohamed Kudus or Edson Alvarez despite interest from Saudi and Atletico Madrid for the two players. Saudi for Kudus, then Atletico Madrid for Edson Alvarez. You know, um, Kudus, according to um, the player, yes, right now, um, according to Green Bailey, he's saying that the player is not going anywhere. The club has not decided to sell any of these two players, either Kudus or Edson Alvarez. So that is according to Green Bailey, what he's reporting, and it is also making waves. We have to follow this story and bring you a lot of updates. Whether Kudus will eventually leave West Ham this season or he's going to stay at least a season. I think Kudus will stay for next year. But hey, transfer news are coming up. Liverpool is really interested. Manchester United has also shown interest. IT had. They are also ready to splash money over $150 million for West Ham for them to release him and also pay Kudus. Three hundred thousand dollars a week and it is really enticing well let's follow and i'll bring you more updates on this channel now let me speak a little bit about the euro 2024 yes i'll be leaving all the games from the group phases from march day one they started on 14th of june and it's going to end on the 14th of july so from march day one so now i'll be leaving everything here together with the rest of the fixtures then after the group phases how the parents and everything will be i'll leave them here as i'm talking about the game so yes i'll not take my time to run you through all of them but today let me just give you today's matches we had slovenia who played against serbia at 1 p.m and the match ended one all yes slovenia scored first before serbia came to equalize on so a 90 plus five then we had luka jovic he scored that um, you know equalizer for them and that's it now denmark were also held to one all draw and um, it was denmark one england one in fact England scored first, then Denmark equalized. Denmark scored a fantastic goal over 35 years. Amazing goal. And that is it. I know you have been enjoying the game. Spain also defeated Italy. As I said, I just finished watching the game and I'm recording this video. Spain, they got their only goal through an own goal. Yes, it was a fantastic cross from Nico Williams, which was also headed by, I think, one attacker. And, um, you know, it's actually deflected in. This is how everything is going in the Euros. So you can be checking all the fixtures for yourself, as I said. But the training staff today in England's one all draw against Denmark, it is making waves because um, Kobe ben Menubuaten yesterday, or I think last two days rather, sorry, I brought you an update where the player said that for now he has decided to play for England and that is that. He is not ready to represent any other national team. And it is like that. I've been saying we should just respect his decision. But if you go online, definitely the coach, especially Gary Southgate, the coach for England, Many are trolling him that he's not good. Some are comparing him to Chris Hilton. Some are comparing him to a lot of the flop coaches that we know. But, you know, I don't, I don't actually understand what the coach is actually doing on the best. Sometimes, if England is playing, you look at the whole setup, how England approach the game, you get to know that, no, English national team, their problem is from the technical side. It is not really from the player side. Neither is it from Jude Bellingham or um, Phil Foden or Harry Kane. Look at how Harry Kane will drop deep for the ball. And by the time he ran to the opponent box, he's already tired. Today, Jubilee had only two touches in opponent box. It tells you that, yes, um, England, they have a lot of work to do in their team, technically. So, we saw Kobe Boatemenu, who was sitting on the bench. He didn't play parts at all, as well as, um, you know, Chelsea's Copama. 
Kopama will score a goal and you know do that kind of celebration. Right now, he's on the bench for England, and many were not excited about him as well as Kobe Boatimenu. Kobe Boatimenu, people are actually um, trying to compare his situation with Danny Warbeck's own. How Danny Warbeck started playing for England and he was neglected just like that. Danny Warbeck has been playing consistently for years, but they don't even actually recall him or they don't actually remember that there's a player like that, you know. So all these things are going on and many are actually um, training him on online and that is this. I think still Kobe Boatimenu is young. Um, even if he doesn't get a lot of opportunity to play in this Europe, um, Euros, the next competitions are there. Next coach will also come take over and maybe, maybe he'll get a lot of opportunities going forward. And that is it also for the player. Now, with this um, evening, that 7 p.m. match, we also had one interesting player trending. That is, I'm um, talking of Nico Williams. Arthur, this boy, he's really amazing. I brought you guys a video on Oskeni TV Plus. If you have not watched the video, go and check it out. I spoke about 10 players who are from Ghana or who have Ghanaian descent, but they are playing for various national teams in this Europe. And, you know, this player is part. Kobe Boatim, um, you know, talking of Nico Williams, he was splendid on the left wing position. See, he is ambidextrous. Both left and right lefts are working for him, and he will just take you on easily without any um, difficulty. The boy for Atletico Bilbao, he's been amazing, and right now Barcelona is interested in signing him. Liverpool is also interested. Arsenal, and I think after this nice performance against Italy, a lot of the clubs are going to pay attention to Nico Williams. Nico Williams is never a bad player. He's really fantastic. The same as Iñaki Williams. I saw someone saying that they're gonna get the wrong Williams. No, I think Iñaki is also fantastic. Just that we are not playing to his strength. If you look at how Nico plays, just compared to Iñaki, Iñaki also started like this, and now he's more of like attacking from the right wing or left wing. Just give him the ball, and he's going to run, pounce on the ball, and give you what you want in the game. So if you watch them in Atletico Bilbao, you get to know that yes, these players are doing so well as their club side. And the national team, they've also found a mojo for Nico Williams and he's also excelling. So why not Ghana also try to find a mojo for Inyaki Williams and we're also going to get the best out of him. So yes, the boy was very good on the left wing position, tormenting the Italian defense and that is it also for him. So yes, Euros is interesting. I'm enjoying it. I know you're also enjoying it home. So let's continue to enjoy the Euros and I'll bring you a lot of updates going forward on this channel. So these are some of the few things that I wanted to speak about. In this update, let me give some few updates or um some few shout outs yes before I take leave of you. Shout outs going out to Ima 8485. Thank you for being here. Akugri, you are also here. Akugri Ralph, thank you for being here. I've seen you. Ima 84. Okay, I think I just mentioned Razi Blinks is also on this channel. ANGG, you are also here. 922. I appreciate you. ASP Media, yes, ASP Media 9311. Thank you for being here. Then I have Cat Cob. Cat Cob, you are also on this channel. Kingsley Ashon, thank you. I appreciate you. And as I met a few, it's also on this channel. Ikis233, thank you for being here. Baba Ojaki is also here. Then Mario Va, you are also here. Benzozi, yes, Benzozi, you are also on this channel. My Mr. Body is always here. Thank you, Mr. Body. Imano Boatin is always here as well. Thank you. Jason Grant, always present. I appreciate you. Two Loud Earpiece, always here. Samson Kodaho, you are always present as well. Stefan DK. I appreciate you. You are mostly first of late on this channel. I appreciate you. Stephen DK. Gideon Kagbo is here. I appreciate you. Adeni Ko Johannes Mauto. Michael Echampo. Jumo Samson. Just call me AJ. You are always consistent of late. Emmanuel um, MP is also here. Thank you. Agana Richard. You are here. Ezeko Amdoche. Um, you are also on this channel. Christopher Danby is here. Today I'm not seeing our beautiful ladies. You know. God Soldier is here. Barak 6365. Augustine Kwansa, Sylvester Magaibo, um, Adepa 1212, yes, one pretty lady is here. Adepa, thank you for being here always. Bright Ando is also here. Imano Amane is here. Docs JFX, Elijah Nana Sante, um, Steven Kumaga. Okay, I want to give shout out to all of you guys. Amet Tijani is here. Apia Sabbath, you are also here. Christopher Danby is here. Stefan Kenyon, you are here as well. Doku Khadija, Gideon Akagbo, thank you. Um, then I have, let me move on, something could have, okay, Peter Ahen, you are here, um, let me move on, okay, 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 Foster Maunya is here, Real Lassie TV is also here, Prince are here, is here, and I know the likes of Betty Johnson, um, Ajua P, and all the other fantastic ladies will also be coming to comment, but as of this time, these are the comments that I have under the last video, 
as at the time I'm recording this one. Don't forget to always like the video for me. Subscribe, put on the bell for more updates here on this channel. This was Kenny TV, and of course, we shall meet later.